one. Uh, okay. So this is this is one we'll talk about briefly. Lucy in Disguise Costume Shop in South Congress to close by the end of the year. You know, it's one we should have talked about too is, uh, what's the name of that place we like off 6th Street? Uh, Z Tejas. Z Tejas off in downtown is set to close as well. Uh, apparently it's hard to own a business in downtown Austin, but uh, what are your thoughts on Lucy in Disguise closing down after a long, long time? Do we know why? Um, if you give me your thoughts, I'll pull it up. <laughs> I, I, uh, it says, uh, Lucy in disguise with diamonds made, uh, the announcement on Instagram Tuesday. Thank its customers for their support through the years. There are a lot of one year, um, sorry. Uh, there are not a lot of year round costume shops in the world. And we're very grateful to our costume, our customers, uh, for their ongoing support. The store posted, we loved being a source of creative and inspiration for our uh, parties, plays, and production. It has been a pleasure to fulfill our uh, cons uh, costuming dreams and fantasies. Let's see, we saw, we saw the sign. Okay, that's somebody that's reading it. Um, so the reason why- Yeah, I you can find, you can find, basically they probably aren't turning a profit anymore. One of the quotes is you can find uh, like stuff that's not on Amazon. So, I mean, if I'm going to go somewhere to buy a costume, I'm buying it on Amazon, just to be honest. Well, I mean, you got to be able to try it on too, but it's also all year long. That's pretty interesting. It's a unique business. I think my worry is that Austin is losing mm -hmm. a lot of the uniqueness of it, a lot yeah. of the businesses. In fact, I was just picking up a buddy from, air from the airport and I saw a billboard and I I'm pretty sure it's a... a a double entendre. It's there. There. It's a play on words, but it says we're still Austin. Like they had to remind you that it's still Austin, Texas, when people are visiting. You know, and it, it it just makes me worry a little bit, right? We've talked about that on one of our episodes about just like, is it still, you know, does it still feel like Austin, the Austin you moved to? I mean, I moved here ten years ago. It's not the same Austin. Um, yeah. So uh, here's so uh, the owner said uh, there are a few driving factors behind the decision to close the doors. First, he said the pandemic hit them really hard, although they were able to weather that. Uh, he had supply chain issues were still a problem. Uh, we order from a lot of different companies. We source from a lot of different places. It's really been a challenge to keep the store as well stocked as people are used to being. Um, so, I mean, it sounds like a lot of it that was the pandemic costs uh, and and he owns the store. So it would make sense that he'd sell it. So it looks like he's going to sell it. Is what I mean, his I'm real estate here. taxes, right? Real he's estate still taxes, yeah. Taxes. Uh, yeah. So there, there, there's that. that that's sad. Um, yeah. I mean, to answer the question that you said, it it's definitely changed. It's definitely not the same Austin um, that I fell in love with, you know, more than 10 years ago when we moved here. But what are your thoughts? I expect change. I expect growth. Um, I'm not, I'm not dissatisfied, but I, there were, there were a few things where as they were leaving, I, I felt it a little bit, right? Like, especially I, was, I remember with the, uh, with the, the rainy street kind of getting, destroyed in my mind it was like why are they putting all this up this was a really cool spot and that's when i realized you know what it's going to change gonna have to move on to well, the next spot what's what's interesting is a lot of those places that closed during the pandemic i mean look we're getting a hermes right <laughs> oh we got a hermes oh no we have it, it south yeah. congress is is kind of ridiculous yeah. now it's yeah, it's a it's a clown clown. But they show used to now. have all the food trucks and stuff. Like that was that was yeah. the place to go. It was just the vibe. That was that, that and was Rainy Street. Yeah, you're right. Rainy Street. I miss Rainy Street. I mean, I went down the other day, and it's just like you look up and you're like, "Where am I? This is like downtown light. You're in a concrete jungle. Yeah, <laughs> where dreams are made of, right? Um, yeah. I mean, it's interesting, but you just, so, but think about some of the places that closed down during the pandemic. Uh, 
Like if you didn't go to them and they were just a nostalgic place, then was the food really that good if it's not a place you went all the time? I feel like some of these places that closed down were just tourist traps, right? To say the least. And so some of these places that closed down, it's like, okay, yeah, that was a tourist trap. It, the food, like you went there just to hang out and enjoy the ambiance. You really didn't go there for the food. Or maybe they had good drinks and you just went there for the drinks. So I feel like the, the pandemic kind of weeded out some of those places that unfortunately needed to go. I think one of those places that, I might get ridiculed for this, but what's that place that puts the sign out um, that does the sign all the time? The El, uh, uh, yeah, El Arroyo. El Have you tried Arroyo, their food? Yeah. No, I've never even had it, <laughs> but I like all their stuff. That's a yeah. great, that's a great point. You know, yeah. I remember when I first visited uh, one of our friends that had taken us around to, to look at everything in Austin before we decided to move. And it was almost instant after we had experienced it. Uh, I remember she, she's, I was asking for coffee. I was like, can we go to a Starbucks or something? And she looked at me like she was going to stab me in the leg. She's like, you're not going to go to Starbucks in Austin. There are way too many local coffee yeah. shops that we need to support. Yeah. Uh, but look at how many people go to Starbucks is all I'm saying. I, you know, I try not to like, that's why I go to like cosmic or yeah. Cosmic's good. Cosmic's good. You know, um, there are some I like genuine Joe's. It's a great spot. A lot of them. I've never um, tried. Where's that place at? Uh, uh Cenote. Cino, Cenote. They love Cenote. Yeah, that's a good place. Halcyon. Okay. <clears throat> they have a few of those. Um, Summer Moon's become a pretty big chain. So like, I like yeah. Summer Moon just because they have tacos in the morning, but it's okay. I, I like going to those places like, like that you can get the ambiance, decent coffee, Wi-Fi. What's that? Oh, radio. Radio is expanding. Did you see that? Radio uh, Coffee in South Austin. Thunderbirds I, is another one. Um, what's the one on the subs? Uh, no, I think isn't there one called Thunderbirds? What's the yeah. place on the east side with a really good Lazarus? There's a place Lazarus. on the east side, yes. Ian. You yes. gotta go check it out. Great yeah. coffee. They brew beer there, and uh, or they, they have a brewery there, and their tacos are legit. They're better than your Veracruz tacos. Fight me. Oh, stop it! No, look, yeah. look, look. Your Veracruz horchata, Eileen Jealous. Oh my gosh, man, that's right. so good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, all that to say, I think that we need to, this isn't some kind of campaign or anything, but supporting the local businesses that you want to stay around is the only way they're going to stay around. So R remember, keep Austin beautiful. What that was never, that? was that a thing? Yeah, KAB, keep Austin beautiful. It was like a whole like incentive to like go clean up and pick up around Austin and keep Austin clean. I haven't started seen much from those people in a long time. So thanks for watching this short of the Real Amigos podcast. For more live streams, hit here. For more clips, hit here. We'll catch you on the next one.